Hello everyone. It's Victoria with Nutrition by Victoria. Uh, long time no chat. Uh, for those of you who don't know me, I have a Master's of Science in Human Nutrition and I specialize in helping you to build a high functioning metabolism so that you can get and stay effortlessly slim, lean, fit and healthy, all while eating as much as you want. Uh, with context though, you know, we're talking about high carb, low fat foods. These are the magical foods that allow us to be naturally slim, naturally lean, naturally healthy without having to worry about anything, without having to count calories, without having to, you know, do anything other than just eat the right foods and enjoy your life. So, um, I have been personally eating this way for over a decade now and just the results continue to come in and um, I've had three healthy pregnancies with three healthy children and after each pregnancy, even though I've gotten older, I have bounced back and continue to just reap the rewards of this lifestyle. So in today's video, I want to talk about weight loss. It's always the question I get asked the most. Um, how do I lose weight? You know, the standard motto is calories in, calories out. Carbohydrates are demonized. Um, a lot of the, you know, people eat a keto carnivore diet right now. There is um, a big pharma whistleblower who is sharing a lot of insider information about um, America's food industry and he promotes a keto diet okay so you know we have to be discerning when it comes to you know all the information that is available to us and what we're taking in and what is you know going to be factual and what's going to be um, dogma and pseudoscience so while that whistleblower has a lot of you know information in regards to what it is that he does for a living um when it comes to nutrition a lot of people don't know what they're talking about so uh i have really um taken the time to understand the nitty-gritty inner workings of uh human metabolism in regards to physiology and biochemistry so that i can just help you to understand <laughs> what it is that you need to eat in order to, you know, just live a healthy human life. Every, but the things that people are chasing, the aesthetics and the health, um, is because we're naturally programmed to desire that, you know, combination. And that's because that's how we're naturally supposed to be um, when we consume our natural diet, which is a high carb, low fat diet. So, um, really quickly here before I run out of storage um, the reason why people struggle to lose weight has everything to do with cortisol cortisol being the main driver for insulin resistance okay normal levels of cortisol is what we all want right because cortisol helps you know get us up in the morning it helps to um, drive more glucose into the cells when we're exercising if we're in a fight-or-flight situation when we're sick um, but we don't want cortisol to stay elevated we want it to come back down and the reason why cortisol would stay elevated is because people under eat on carbohydrates in order to have normal cortisol levels you need to eat sufficient carbohydrates okay carbohydrates are your fuel carbohydrates are what keep us insulin sensitive so when our cortisol stays elevated we become insulin resistant this is a survival um, biofeedback mechanism so that we can store fat after the famine all right because when our cortisol stays elevated it signals to the body that hey we need to make more sugar so the liver starts uh, the process of gluconeogenesis in order to supply more glucose to uh, the trillions of cells in our body that are dependent upon glucose in order to function properly um, and maintain blood sugar levels so without sufficient amounts of glucose we 
turn down our metabolism essentially and start to favor and set the groundwork for insulin resistance in order to favor fat storage after the famine. Uh, because your body does not care if there is actually a famine or not. If you're not consuming sufficient glucose, it says, hey, there's a famine and our hormone levels change in order to keep us alive during a famine state, okay? So it's a good thing that this happens, but a prolonged level of insufficient carbohydrate intake means that you are going to start to uh, experience negative health consequences. Um, hypothyroidism is very common because the thyroid is dependent on carbohydrates. Depression and anxiety are common because serotonin and dopamine are